Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's armies. It is here that my story begins. Noster, qui es in seris, sanctificato no.
blessed. Same to you. Today's a scorching day. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? A blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening, drinking like a lord. Mm. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up, then. A quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm-hmm. Henry! Get up now. There's work to be done. Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger-bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been... Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, that's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself with all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. What on earth did you get up to last night? Uh, nothing much. Me and the lads were just having a chat in the tavern. Some wayfarer stopped by. He was telling us what's going on in the world and... Um, well, I, uh, I lost track of time. Well, I hope he didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. I was with Bianca. Do you want a blow-by-blow -blow account of everything we did? What's this, an interrogation? All right, all right. Sorry, son. It's just that I worry about you. Thanks, Ma, but I'm not four years old. I know, Hal. You've grown up in front of my eyes. It's hard to get used to it. father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Sir Ratzig. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. I know. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. 
Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. That's unfair. Really? So where were you until the small hours last night? I was with Bianca, of course. You mean at Bianca's tavern? And who was there with you? No, don't tell me. Let me guess. Matthew and Fritz. Well, at least you were with Bianca. You should hold on to that one, Hal. She's a clever girl. And invite her for supper sometime. Your father's very fond of her. Yeah, of course he is. He thinks he'll be able to wheedle the secret of beer brewing out of her. <laughs> You're right there. You'd think he was planning to become a brewer in his dotage. Still, that's your father for you. At least he's interested in something, unlike you lot. You're too busy getting into mischief to do an honest day's work. If Fritz and Matthew carry on this way, they'll wind up swinging one day. You mark my words. Can I get something to eat? I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. 